Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Pimpin' in Yarnum with your host, Papa Slim, featuring the Pimp Hand of Doom. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? This is episode two of Bloodborne. Um, a few things before I start. The reason why this took so long to come out was because I had several technical difficulties. Some involving my own stupidity, and others involving poorly made controllers by Sony. So now that I have a brand new controller, and hopefully I won't be as stupid, we can continue from where we left off. Um, you should notice that I've made some slight changes to Papa Slim. It's because I had to restart due to those technical difficulties. And so I decided I'd make his face a bit more menacing, and yet still, you know, kind of cool. And I changed the color. You also notice that I have way more echoes than I did last time, and that's because I used an environment glitch that took me to an area I wasn't supposed to be at, and defeated a boss that didn't fight back, and that's why I have also one insight. If you want to see that environment glitch, I can post the video of it, but you should be warned that it contains a lot of spoilers. Um, thankfully, because I haven't really gone anywhere in this game, I don't know what those spoilers are. But, you might. So, let's continue with this item. Cold Blood Dew. More Echoes. That's always good. Always could use more Echoes. Oh, there's that guy rocking out to Queen again. Barrel Roll! Bloodstone Shard, good for upgrading weapons. Blood Vial, awesome. And let's break everything here. Ooh, I can drop down there. And I shall, after I talk to these laughing women. Oh, you hag. You know what? I'm gonna, just for that. There, I ruined your door. Take that. Let's go down here. Puppy! You know what? You've been a bad boy. You've been a really bad boy. Bad. Died with a hit that only took off 3 HP. Yeah. Yeah, let's go over here. <laughs> Going upstairs. What's over here? How did this happen? Jeez, that's some destruction. Cold blood do. Awesome. Jump! Okay. And we have that way to go. And that way to go. And there's a big guy there. So I'm going to go this way because I'm a coward! Hey, buddy. Oh, how did I miss that one? Oh, well, you're dead anyway. Let's open the door. Where does this lead? Anything over here? Oh, look, it leads down to two big guys. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I didn't mean to jump there, but okay. How, how dare you! Make me use a blood vial. Ooh, but you gave me a cocktail. Nice. Bloodstone shard. What's this? Oh! A shortcut. Sweet. Well, that means I'm just gonna go back. That's from Earthbound, if any of you any of you played it. It's the bus theme. <laughs> Defenseless old man in a chair with a rather large gun placed in a, you know, inappropriate place. Pungent blood cocktail. What is that? 
Oh, wrong button. Uh, oh yeah, I got this thing, which I'm not gonna bother showing you because it's part of the spoilers. And I got these things. Um, where is the... There it is. A mature blood cocktail thrown to attract beasts. Mature blood cocktail that releases a pungent odor when thrown that attracts bloodthirsty beasts. A precious tool in sadly short supply. In Yarnum, they produce more blood than alcohol, as the former is more intoxicating. Vampires. When the hunt began, the healing church left us, blocking the great bridge to Cathedral Ward, as old Yarnum burned to the ground that moonlit night. Epic voice. Over. Let's go up the stairs, and, you know, kill these guys who have been whining. Or they can hit me and take my life! Idiots. You are mine. Come on, attack. Oh, I missed! So did you, though. So that's good. For me. Cold blood do. And what is up here? A guy with his back turned. And he turned around because I walked too loud. Oh, there's two wolves. Oh, there's a big guy. I'm going here. Wee, 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 wee. Jump. And we're back to the dog place. Hey puppy, here pup. Hey puppy. I got a bone for you. Die. Bad puppy. You want some of this, huh? I'm right here. Here, look. My butt is facing your face. Come on. Yeah, that's right. I want to know how he's swinging through a solid object like this, but not like this. Oh, well, maybe he did. This game called me a liar. What's over here? Ooh, a puppy. Good dog. Cold blood dew. Anything over here? No. And a dog is barking at the house. Maybe she, she or he deserved it. Jump! Ha 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 ha! You're a hunter, aren't you? Well, do you know of any safe place? Hello? Our oh, bird, I have. Shutting up indoors isn't always enough. Well, if you want to stop your arses, you wouldn't be in this mess. You're obligated to help me, you hear? So what the best? Are you going to tell me you're not? Absolutely not. Oh, I should have known. You're good for nothing. No respect for the elderly is what that is. That not good you outside is, do? Go on. Admit it. Do you? Do you know this? Ha! Wait. Oh, I thought that was an item. What is down here? Oh, look! All kinds of barrels. Is Laurentius hiding in one of them? No pyromancer. Dang it. Okay, well, let's drop down. More barrels. And even more barrels. <laughs> and this item. Can I get it? Nope. But I can do this. Ugh. That is a freaking long drop. I'm not going over there yet. What is over here? A cold blood dew. Awesome. And another body to smack. Oh, don't fall. Jeez. That would have hurt. Even though the fall damage isn't as bad in this game as it is in Dark Souls 2. That's Miyazaki's influence. Percentage-based fall drop. 
that sentence made no sense. Let's go. Oh, are you a good helper type person? Yes, you are. You talk. Oh, a hunter, are you? And an outsider. What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Here, to welcome the new hunter. Bold hunter's mark. Prepare yourself for the worst. There are no humans left. They're all flesh-hungry beasts now. Okay. Hunter. Let's talk to you again. Still lingering about. What's wrong? A hunter unnerved by a few beasts. <laughs> no matter. Without fear in our hearts. We're a little different from the beasts themselves. Shake off cape. That's a gesture. Ooh. Anything else to say? What are you still doing here? Enough trembling in your boots. A hunter must hunt. What? No more items? Tch, fine. Let's see that gesture. I'm going to get rid of Hunter's Rally because I never use things like that. And shake off cape. Let's see what it does. Ooh, that's nice. I bet you'd be even better if I had an actual cape. I think I'm going to like that one. If this was Assassin's Creed, I could jump all over that. But it's not. And thank goodness for that. Alright. Now we have no choice but to drop down. And I believe that there is an enemy over here walking around. Ooh, there he is. That's right, you're gonna get ambushed! <laughs> oh, run! Ran out of stamina. Oh, are you stuck? That's awesome. Oh, I missed. I missed again. I suck. There you go. That was a nice swing, though. You almost got me there. If I was, you know, a few feet taller. Ooh, this guy. You know, you should never turn your back on Papa Slim. He's not afraid of taking it from behind. That came out wrong. And that looked wrong. Oh, well, colonoscopy complete. You! Who said you can shoot me? And I apparently still can't hit straight. Bullets. Anything else over here? Ooh, item. Cold blood dew. And there's another dude over there. I want to know what the heck he's carrying around. It's a weird, like... Sickle? I don't know, piece of furniture? Hey, buddy. How's it going? Are you going to turn around? Yes, you are. And you're going to hit me with fire. And that was too soon. Okay, well, there's some guys over there that look like they are going to shoot me. So I'm going to have to wait until I get a good opportunity. Oh, great. They both saw me. And they're both... Oh, crap. I am so dead. Oh, no! No, you stupid son of a... There. Okay. Now you're mine. No, you're not. Oh, no! Oh, that freaking, the gun shot through him. You stupid sons of, 
making me have to go all the way back. Well, at least I opened up the shortcut. Kill you! As vengeance! Kill you, because I don't like your face. Kill you, because of the position of your gun. And we find our way back to the doggies. I think it's this way. Yes, it is. Let us kill the doggies. Come, Mutt. I am in a bad mood. Stop your barking. I'm going to have to put you through some obedience school. You too. That running attack sucks. All right. Well, this time I don't have to go on top, so I'm just going to not bother rolling through the barrels. And instead, murder you. So one thing about the Hunter Blender bus is that if you're too close to the enemy, your shots go right through them. Ha <laughs> ha Yes. Colonoscopy complete. Oh, why does that one have my souls? Echoes. Dang it. I killed you, but okay, fine. Makes it all the easier for me. Thank you. Oh, you missed. You know, I wasn't aware that blood made a sound. And I wasn't aware that the sound was loud enough to echo. That's a lame joke, Andrew. Yes, it is. Now, you bastards. Come here. Now, where's this guy? Where is he? There he is. That's right, come here. Follow me. Get away from the gun, yeah. Let's go. This time you're not gonna kill me that easily. One, two, three, four, five, whatever. There you go! Right in the gut! Ha! Oh, you're not dead yet? Now you are. Look at all that blood. That's what you get. I got my revenge. Now, where's this idiot? <laughs> Die. I want your hat, though. Quicksilver bullets. Quicksilver bullets. What is over here? Barrels to break. Cold blood do. You know, in real life, if I would have jumped into a barrel, I probably would have tipped forward and fallen flat on my face. But, who cares about physics? Unlike Rhino from Spider-Man. Oh crap, I didn't even see that bird. Wow, that's a pretty good drop. KFC! Oh, you fell. Did it kill you, though? No, it did not. 
you think you would have flown, but I guess you can't. All you can do is float. Alright, that does continue. I want to know who's ringing the bell. Maybe it's automatic. More birds? Jeez. I guess the colonel hasn't been doing his job. Ooh, I should make a Colonel Sanders character. Boiler. Pebble. What would his weapon be, though? I guess something with fire. Okay, let us drop down here. And yet. Bloodstone shard. And there's that stupid bird that didn't die. You got, like, no health almost. And now you don't. But let's go over this way because I am missing that area I was supposed to drop down to. Alright. Here it is. And we shall drop down on this side. Ah! Wouldn't that, like, hurt your ankle? Or something? Like, you don't even bend your legs. You're supposed to. Hello, dirty rat. That wasn't the one that killed my brother, though. You know, you give rats a bad name, Splinter's gonna be upset. You're just full of bad jokes today, Andrew. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, I have to go back there, damn it. Oh well, let's see if we can jump on this rat from here. Uh, no, no, not even close. Oh! Ha! Throwing knife, awesome. We'll have to check that out, Madman's Knowledge. Uh, which button is it? Yeah. Throwing knife. Finely serrated throwing knife. Throwing knife with a finely serrated blade. One of the old hunter Henrik's favorite weapons. Does not cause a great deal of damage to beasts, but with deft use can distract attackers and keep them at bay. Doesn't look like much of a serrated blade. Oh wait, did I ever look at the madman's knowledge item? I don't think so. Do -do 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 -do. Madman's knowledge. Skull of an enlightened madman, used to gain insight. Skull of a madman touched by the wisdom of the Great Ones, used to gain insight. Making contact with eldritch wisdom is a blessing, for even if it drives one mad, it allows one to serve a grander purpose for posterity. Yeah, I'm sure that the people who went mad feel that way. Why do I... Ha I have nothing equipped in my items. Did I not get the... Oh, there it is. Oh, I didn't even look at the bold hunter's mark, either. Awaken anew without losing blood echoes. Dangling upside down rune etched in the mind of a hunter. The image upon this parchment allows one to envision the rune with clarity. It allows a hunter to awaken again without losing blood echoes. A trick that seems nearly too good to be true. You know, usually when a game says that, there's a some kind of a thing that you have to pay for. Some kind of a, you know... I guess sacrifice, but they could just be trolling. Anyways, that's like the uh, uh, Homeward Bone or the Shard of Archstone from Demon Souls and Dark Souls. Okay, um, oh yeah, I was supposed to go on the other side. Do 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 do, and we roll in us. Give me back the health I intentionally made myself lose. This is the saw spear, which I will look at in a second. Back! Back, I say! Dirty rat! Okay, now let's look at it. Uh, saw spear. 
One of the trick weapons of the workshop, commonly used by those who dedicate themselves to the hunt. This saw, effective at drawing the blood of beasts, transforms into a medium-range spear. The saw, with its set of bloodletting teeth, has become a symbol of the hunt, and only grows in effectiveness the more grotesquely transformed a beast. I guess it has extra damage against something. Okay, now we are done. We shall go up. Through Central Yarnum! I think I went the wrong way, so we're going back down. Yes, I'm old. I know the Jefferson's theme song. Well, not the words, but the tune. Up, up, up. This is a freaking long ladder. Jeez. And it takes us to more coffins. Like, don't they understand how unsanitary it is to have dead bodies in the streets? Come here. Good try. You too. Oh, you pecked me from the ground. Didn't know they could do that. Birdies exterminated. Another madman's knowledge. That's awesome. Alright. Uh, okay, I am supposed to go this way. Big and... Time to die. <laughs> Jeez, more ladders. Ooh, is this another shortcut? Looks like it is. Jeez, why did you take so long to open? Is it an NPC? It is. Hey, are you? I don't know your voice, but I know that smell. Are you a hunter? Can you see the look from my mom? I seen her coming back from the hunt, and she wanted to find him, but now she's gone too. I'm all alone. I'm scared. Sure, we'll find your mom. Was a red jeweled brooch. It's so big and, and beautiful. You won't miss it. Oh, I mustn't forget. If you find my mum, check out this music box. Tiny music box. It plays some of Daddy's favourite songs. And when Daddy forgets them, we play it for him so he remembers. Mum says silly for them off without it. Anything else? My mum wears a red jeweled brooch. It's so big and beautiful. You won't miss it. Oh, and if you find her, give her this music box. Please, I know you can do it. Alrighty then. Papa Slim at your service. Let's check out that music box. Uh, okay. A small music box received from a young Yarnum girl. Small music box received from a young yarn girl. Plays a song shared by her mother and father. Inside the lid is a small scrap of paper, perhaps an old message. Two names can be made out, however faintly. Viola and Gascoigne. <laughs> well, I'm going to end the episode here because the last one was 50 minutes and I don't want this one to be too long for people who have, you know, stuff to do. So... In the next episode, I probably won't go through that shortcut because it looks like I've been to that area. So I will continue down that ladder and proceed forward. Uh, until then, I will see you next time, as will Papa Slim. And I hope that you all enjoyed the episode and that you have an excellent day. Bye!